you find someone really attractive, <laughs> no one else does. <laughs> But you really find oh there it is again. You yeah, find that is really, real weird. What is that? What I have. I'm sitting here trying to figure out. I'm sitting here looking. I have nothing that could be doing that. So that is kind of like I looked at my mixer and you know uh, unless I got maybe what <laughs> maybe I have one of those what they call um, bootleg uh, radio stations down the street from us. You know, doing something. I have no idea. Cutting yeah, cutting in on our frequency. I have no idea. Yeah, we are live. Right. Okay. You, you know, we're not a podcast. We're live, and then after oh, yeah. the live show, then we put it up as a podcast on about thirty different apps. So maybe it's but what we're talking about, you know, kind of a little bit of eerie. So something, you know, was, I don't know. This, that's so the first first time in months that actually has happened. Well, it sounds very pretty. So yeah, I'm going to take you to something wonderful. Okay. Um. <laughs> Why not, right? Okay. Yeah. So um, if you find someone attractive and no one else does, you just ha- you have a thing for somebody, you know, and you, like, maybe you, you just want to study their face. You don't know what it is. Chances are they have the same birthday when reduced to a single digit as you. Oh, wow. Okay? Try that. Just try it. Just try it. And if you need to, just, have some discretion, <laughs> but um, it's it's fascinating because I mean I've done it. The the, the birthday um, max is so powerful; it can actually override every other uh, rational rational thought that you might have, and you might think you're with your soulmate, even though that's the person that's going to destroy you. But if it if your birthday matches, the attraction may be so strong. You're just like, nope, this is it. I don't care if we don't agree on a thing and, you know, we're fighting all the time. This is it. I mean, it's such, it's very, very powerful and it's something also to watch out for because, you know, you don't really want to cloud your vision and and all that, all that good stuff. But it's, when it's combined with other matches in your chart, it's, it's very, it can be very wonderful. But again, like I said before, you know, if there's someone in your life, in your circle and you're, you know, you're you're attracted to them, and you know it's, it's kind of this thing you have. It's just like, what is it about them? Find out their birthday. Okay, that's just a little uh, project for everyone all around the world. Okay, so if you're, and again, we can talk about how to do your numbers so that you can get the correct um, match. Okay, so what we're what we're talking about, we're really talking about your your. Um, your core numbers, there are a lot of different matches that you can have, Uh okay? So I'm going to go over how to do um, some of your core numbers, okay? And um, if you don't get everything, you know, um, don't worry about it. Uh, You know, focus on the, you can focus on the life path, maybe. Okay, but but we'll try, we'll do the best we can. Okay. So, So the birth, can we use you as an example? Oh, pardon me. Can we use you as an example with your numbers? Uh, you mean my numbers or somebody else's numbers? Your numbers. So, so, I'll, so, we'll talk about um, your birthday number. Okay, so we'll use your birthday, and then I'll go through how to calculate for everybody. Okay. Again. Okay. January okay? January eighth, nineteen fifty two. Okay, so we have January eighth, nineteen fifty two. So that's one eight. 1952, okay? The first number we're going to extract is the birthday number, okay? That would be number eight, right? So you circle that. Right at the birthday, 1-8-1952, circle the eight. Okay. Okay? The next number that we're going to extract is the attitude number, okay? The, and the birthday number, it's... It's a special talent that you have. It's how you appear to people when they meet you. Um, it's a, it, 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 it says something about um, what what you have to offer the world. Okay, that's your birthday number. Okay? Oh, okay. The next number to extract is the attitude number. So that's the month plus the day. Okay? So in your case, that's 1 plus 8, which equals 9. Right? The attitude number defines your general outlook on life. Okay. Okay? So now you have nine, circle nine. Now, 
the, the life path number defines your life purpose. You can say it points to your life purpose. You don't want to be too, you know, absolutely here. Um, it has a, a, a really big impact on your life and also on your which partner you choose to be with. Okay. okay. Okay, and you get your life path by adding all the numbers up and reducing them to a single digit. Okay? Okay. So you want to add 1 plus 8 plus 1 plus 9 plus 5 plus 2. Okay? okay. And when you add all of that up and you reduce it to a single digit, you get 8. You get the number 8. Now, if you... Um, there are, if you come up with a um, a two or a four for the life path, you may have a hidden master number, um, and to to find out, just go back to the birthday and see if the birthday is a blessing number. Okay. Thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, or nineteen. If that is the case, go with the number that you reduced to a single digit, but go back and do the calculation again, but don't reduce the the blessing birthday number and see what you get. You may have a master number hidden in there, and it's, just, it's actually the same for the attitude number. And that's a little uh, technique that I use. You know, different numerologists have their stick. You know, that's that's one of my um, techniques. You can you can extract a lot. Doing that. Okay, so now we have the birthday number, we have the adjunct number, and the life path number. Okay, so we've circled all those numbers, and now we're going to go down to, uh, now we're going to do the, uh, the, the compatibility with each, with each number, okay? okay? And if you want to, you can just focus on the life path number, whatever you got. So in your case, it's eight, but I'm going to do all the life path numbers, one through nine. One, one through nine, and, and you can consider... Um, the 11, uh, a 2, and the 22, okay. uh, a 4, because we're doing, we're doing uh, matches, okay? And then I'll get into um, certain qualities of the 11 after we do that. Okay. okay, so if you have a 1 life path, your natural match numbers are 1, 5, and 7, okay? Okay. And your compatible numbers, um, you have, I'm sorry, you have a challenge numbers of four and six. Okay. And your neutral numbers are eight. Okay. 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 What's all that mean, and though? You're, okay. What's that? I'm just saying what I'm trying to figure out what it all means. So I mean, okay, yeah, okay, okay, and 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 compatible. Sorry, um, three and four. Okay, so what that means? Natural match. And I'm glad you. Asked. Natural match is a natural. It's it, it, it's it's like a soulmate compatibility. Okay. Okay. It's like a soulmate compatibility. There's an in, instant affinity. So um, that that's definitely. Uh, something to look for, okay, when you find um, a partner. Um, and then, please forgive me, the compatible um, is um, is three. The challenge is four and six. The neutral is eight, okay? Okay. okay. So, all right. um, so let me just do it again. The life path, one, natural match numbers are one, five, and seven. Compatible, you have three. The challenge numbers are four and six. The neutral numbers are eight. Right. Okay. All right. Two natural match numbers. Natural match, natural soulmate compatibility, compatible numbers. You know, you'll get you'll get along. Maybe some challenges. Challenge numbers um, can be very difficult to deal with. Okay. Natural nat, natural match numbers for two are two, four, and eight. Compatible numbers are one. Three, six, and nine. Okay. Challenge numbers are five and seven. Okay. Okay. For three, natural match, three, six, and nine. 
high level numbers one, two, and five. Challenge numbers four, seven, and eight. Okay. Four. The number four, your natural max numbers are two, four, and eight. Your compatible numbers are six and seven. Your challenge numbers are one, three, five, and nine. Okay. For the number five, your natural max numbers are one, five, and seven. Your compatible numbers are three and nine. Your challenge numbers are two, four, and six. Your neutral numbers, there's, you know, it's the whatever, is eight. Okay? Okay. Six. Your natural match numbers are three, six, and nine. Your compatible numbers are two, four, and eight. Your challenge numbers are one, five, and seven. Five and seven. Okay. And so for seven, your natural match numbers are one, five, and seven. Your compatible numbers are four. Your challenge numbers are two, three, six, eight, and nine. Okay. And then for the eight, your natural max numbers are four, six, uh, two, I'm sorry, two, four, and eight. Natural max is two, four, okay. and eight for the eight. Uh, compatible is six. Your challenge numbers are three, seven, and nine. Your neutral numbers are one and five. And finally, for nine, your natural match numbers are three, six, and nine. Your compatible numbers are one, two, and five. And your challenge numbers are four, seven, and eight. Four, seven, and eight. Okay. So those, and that's a guide. Um, you, you know, there are sometimes, sometimes opposites attract. Uh, however, if you have more than two challenge numbers, um, things can get difficult. You might need some uh, ways to uh, negotiate things <laughs> very much. Uh, but I will say this about uh, the 11, uh -huh. okay? The 11 two. If you are an, an 11, you still have the same compatible numbers as the two. So the natural max numbers two, four, and eight compatible, one, three, six, and nine, the challenge five and seven. But if you are an 11 two, and you are in a relationship with another 11, the only way it's going to work is if you agree on your dream, on what you want to do, on your goals. If you don't agree, it's going to be like scanners. The movie scanners are going to blow each other up. Oh, wow. You can't stay in the same room. Hey, Two elevens that are not agreeing will blow each other up. Now, if I give you my but, my wife's birth date, can you tell me? If yeah, we, oh, if, let's if, go there. Yeah, I'm curious if we were, we've been married 40 years, okay? And I'm oh, just, I'm curious. Why do you need me to do her Going on 41, I'm just kind of curious if we're compatible <laughs> after all these years. Yeah, I know. After all this time, let's finally find out. I, I, my feeling is that we're two direct opposites. So, I mean, that, that's why we're still together. But uh, her uh, birth date was, is 3-16-1957. You know, that three took me... 3 of 1957. And it took me 39 years to remember that. Hey, you finally did it. So it's one six, right? Yeah, the uh, January. I mean, March sixteenth uh, of nineteen fifty seven. Okay, three one six one nine five seven. Correct. Yes. Uh huh. Okay, so we know that the sixteen is a blessing number already. Okay. Better than one second seven one. Okay, so her birthday, of course, is the sixteen seven. And that uh, one attitude. 